Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisparyPair.com. In this video we'll show you a couple of things you should check before going to a vehicle inspection also known as an MOT. So stay tuned. DisparyPair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisparyPair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start, I would just like to say as a sort of disclaimer that this video isn't a definitive list of what you should or must do. Legislation and laws are of course different in every country and so are the demands for the vehicle inspection, although there are lots of similarities. So take this video as a friendly suggestion and before going to an inspection, be sure to consult government offices or companies who know the exact requirements in your country. Check out if all the light signalization, meaning all of the lights, are working properly. Check the headlights, turn signals, position lights, brake lights, reverse lights and else. Especially check the rear signalization, as if it doesn't work, it can go unnoticed for days or even weeks. Also know that any serious crack or damage on any of the lamps can also be a problem. Don't forget to check that the horn is working properly. One of the main checks at the vehicle inspection will be for the brakes and their overall condition. This applies of course to the handbrake also. If you notice any kind of malfunction or problem, like weaker or uneven braking, strange noises when braking or else, try to fix it before the vehicle inspection or MOT. Also make sure that the handbrake works at maximum efficiency. Any problem with the brake system will show on the brake tester during the inspection for sure. If you notice any problems with the steering and how the car behaves on the road, solve it before going. In most cases, the technicians will go under the car and take a close look at the steering system and suspension. They usually check the tie rods, ball joints, control arms and other parts of the suspension. Sometimes even the slightest malfunction will not let you pass the vehicle inspection and justifiably so. So if you notice things like the car pulling to one side, wobbly steering, undefined steering, the car is all over the road or other anomalies, best avoid going until you solve it. Make sure that the tire tread is deep enough, check the dot mark on the tires, namely the production date, see that they're not too old and that the tires are for the present season. Don't go on a vehicle inspection in the winter with summer tires. Also check the tire pressure and make sure it's okay. Insufficient tire pressure can affect other systems like the suspension for instance and may affect passing the test. If you've made previous vehicle inspections for your car, then you probably don't have to do this. In most modern countries, the data of your car stays saved in the system for future checks. But if you just bought the car, especially a used one, make sure to check the paperwork and see if everything is complete and in order. If nothing else, then at least compare the VIN number or vehicle inspection number to the paperwork as this is perhaps the most important information. The only thing you should check regarding the windshield is that it is intact. So there should be no cracks, chips, screeches or other damages. Know that if you have a larger crack, you probably won't pass the inspection as this is justifiably considered a safety risk. Also if there are serious scratches like from old or damaged wiper blades for instance, that compromise visibility, you probably also won't pass. While you're checking the windshield, you can also check the wipers. If they're torn, worn out or damaged, best replace them. Don't forget to do the same for the rear wiper. Regarding mirrors, make sure, just like with the windshield, that there are no cracks or damages. Check that all the seat belts, front, rear or for all the rows of seats you may have in your car are working properly. If you have problems with a slow retracting seatbelt, a jamming seatbelt, a torn one or else, know that you won't pass for sure. This is a major safety issue and solving it should be a priority. 
If you want to see a couple of ways to fix a slow retracting seat belt, click on the link to watch a separate video we've made specifically on this topic. During any vehicle inspection or MOT, the exhaust fumes will be tested if they're ecologically acceptable, so to say. In lots of countries, these laws are very strict and any kind of irregularity or malfunction with any of the systems connected to the exhaust will be noticed. This goes double for diesel engines who have, in most cases, somewhat more complicated systems for cleaning the exhaust fumes. So, check on time things like the DPF filter, EGR valve, catalytic converter, lambda sensor and else. Do this especially if you have the check engine light coming up on the dashboard. If you want to see some of the most common reasons for this problem, click on the link to watch the video. Two things that are most important regarding the car body. That there are no major dents or damages and that there isn't any or that much rust. If any of these compromise the integrity of the car body, you will not pass the inspection or MOT for sure. A spot or two on the fender or bumper, so to say, won't be a problem, but if you drive a rust bucket, best don't bother going and even better, don't drive the car in that condition at all. Make sure, if possible, to fix all the problems before the vehicle inspection and for your own sake. A vehicle inspection is a great opportunity to recheck the maintenance schedule on your car. When was the last time the oil has been changed? All of the filters, air, fuel, oil and else. When was the last time the brakes were checked, coolant and else. Know that if the maintenance is sloppy, it can affect your chances for passing the vehicle inspection. For instance, if you haven't changed the oil and filters for a long time, it can affect the emission test. So, make a brief review and if something is missing, make sure to do it before the vehicle inspection. For the end, one more extra tip. Clean the car before driving into the vehicle inspection, clean both the interior and exterior. Not only is it a matter of hygiene and politeness, but it will make life easier for the technician making the inspection. Not to mention that it will leave a better overall impression. Also, and perhaps most important, make regular checkups and follow the maintenance schedule for your car. Then, the vehicle inspection will be more of a formality instead of a serious and timely obligation filled with costly repairs. Take care of your car and the vehicle inspection or MOT won't be a problem for sure. So that's it for this time, hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.